Hi everyone, my name is Becky Johnson and I work with women here at Pathway and I'm so excited to be able to spend a little bit of time with you today even though we can't be sitting in a seat together in a room here at the church. I'm so excited that we just get to spend a little bit of time together this way. We're thankful for technology in these days and in these moments. Well, I wonder if you would participate with me for just a minute. If you have experienced a little bit of fear or a little bit of anxiety or a little bit of worry in these last few days, would you just raise your hand? Yep, I think that if, uh, if you're participating, probably almost 100% of us would have raised our hand because we've all felt a little bit of fear, we've all felt a little bit of anxiety, and we're all feeling a little bit of worry about these uncertain days because these uncertain days lead to some very uncertain situations, and we're all just battling through all of those kinds of things, and I'm right there with you. As a matter of fact, if you know anything about the Enneagram, I'm a six, and sixes tend to overthink. We tend to think about the what-if situations, the what-if scenarios, and I've created all of my life a lot of those what-if scenarios. As a matter of fact, if my husband or my teenage kids were just a little bit late in coming home from wherever they were, I created a lot of scenarios, what-if scenarios, what if they were in a ditch, what if they were in a car accident, what if they were somewhere they weren't supposed to be. I created a lot of those things that produced a lot of anxiety instead of peace in my life. And we're walking through those days again. And I don't know if you're quite like me, but a lot of us are creating those what-if scenarios, those what-if situations in our lives. And we need to find some ways where we can seek peace. And so years ago, God was so gracious to give me a verse in Philippians. And it's Philippians 4.8, and I just want to share that verse with you. It says, finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, Whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. If you're like me, you might be dwelling on the what-if scenarios, and God is telling us in that verse to not think about the what-if scenarios that may or may not come true, but the what-is realities. What is lovely? What is admirable? What is pure, what is praiseworthy. So what can you think on today that's admirable or praiseworthy or true or right or noble? Maybe go for a walk, maybe uh, be out in creation and be praising God for the creation and the birds we hear singing. Uh, whatever you can find to be praiseworthy in your day, whatever you can find to be noble and right and true in your day, think on such things. I don't want to negate or minimize the true hardships and the true challenges and realities that some of you are facing, that some of us are facing together. And God has a lot to say to us about those true, difficult, those really deep hardships that some of us are facing. And those what-if scenarios might be uh, things that will come true or things that might come true. And so we have to um, look, to the, look to what God has to say to us uh, to help us through those times too. And I love Phil uh, Psalms. 56.3, and it says, when I am afraid, and I love that verse because it tells me that there will be times when I am afraid, I will put my trust in you. But for some of us, we're creating those what-if scenarios that just make it a little harder, produce a little bit more anxiety instead of the peace that God promises us. So today, together, let's think on things that are lovely, let's think on things that are admirable, and let's think on such things. I want to pray for you today. Dearest Heavenly Father, I thank you so much that you give us wisdom in your word. I thank you so much that you give us help and hope in your word, that you tell us that when we are afraid, we can put our trust in you, and that you tell us that when we dwell on things that are noble, right, and true, and praiseworthy, and excellent, and um, lovely, that that's going to produce peace in us over our anxiety and our fear. So I pray, Father, that today... You will help us to see those things. You will help us to um, recognize those things from you and not dwell on the what ifs, but dwell on the what is in our day today. Father, we continue to lift those of you, that those um, who are working in hospitals, that are working in, um, on the front line of this battle. And we just pray, Lord, for their protection. And we pray for peace. We pray for comfort. We pray, Lord, that they will just see your, um, your faithfulness. And Father, I pray for those that are walking through deep hurt. I pray for those that are walking through true, deep, the realities of uh, this difficult season that we're all walking through. And I just pray, Father, that you'll bring hope and peace, that they can see your faithfulness as you walk with them 
through these days. So Father, we love you and we thank you. And it's in Jesus' name, amen.